boys and girls today we're going to have some fun with numbers shall we so in the first exercise here we have few missing numbers but here they have asked us to tell us which number comes before a particular number if we have 50 what number comes before 50 it is 49 okay i'll write a number here and you have to tell me which one comes before that okay so if we have 10 can you tell me what number comes before 10 it's easy it is 9 very good now let me give you another number if we have 210 then which number comes before 210 it's 209 very good now let's try the numbers which come after a particular number okay let's see the same thing what comes after 10 it is 11 very good what comes after 210 it is 211 very good so now that you know this you can go ahead and do the activities that are given let's try some of them okay let's turn to the page 68 here they have asked us to fill in the numbers that comes in between the given numbers so we have 65 and then we have a blank and then it is 67 so what comes after 65 it is 66 very good now let's try the number 278 what comes after 278 it is 279 very good and then comes 280 let's try another one 89 what comes after 89 and before 91 it is 90 very good and then we have 164 what comes after 164 and before 166 it is 165 very good now they have given number names in the next one here we have to write the number names that comes before a particular number name and the number name that comes after a particular number name let's see if you can do this one so the first one is they have a blank and then they have given 17 s e v e n t e n 17 and then there's another blank so what is a missing number name here it is 16 very good 16 and then we have 18 after 17 16 17 and 18 very good now let's try another one what comes before 12 and after 12 it is the number 11 which comes before 12 and the number 13 which comes after 12 let's try the last one this is a little tricky we have two blanks and then the number name so they have given them the number they have given us a number t h r e 3 so what is the number name that comes before 3 and before that so before 3 is 2 t w o and before 2 is 1 very good so o n e 1 and then comes 2 and then comes 3 now we are going to learn about the comparison of numbers. Suppose we have two numbers given. How will you know which is the number which is greater and which is the number which is smaller? Right? So let's look at something here. So here we have 23 and we have 15. So in 23 we have 20 tens and then we have 3 ones. And then in 15, we only have 10 tens and we have only 5 ones. So now we know that 23 is greater than 15. And then we have the number 9 and then the number 12. So we have 9 ones for 9 and then we have 10 tens and then 2 ones. So then we know that 9 is lesser than 12. Here we have 9 and 9, 9 ones and 9 ones. So we know that 9 is equal to 9. And for numbers which are lesser than 10, it's even more easier, right? 
because we can count them very easily. For example, if we have five stickers with us and if I have three stickers in another hand, I can count and see that five is greater than three, right? Again, if I have pens, suppose I have three pens in one hand and just one pen in the other hand, I know and I can see that three pens are greater than one pen, right? Again, if I have eight fruits with me, eight fruits here in this basket and if I just have five fruits in the other basket, I know that five fruits are lesser than eight fruits, right? So it's quite easy for us to understand and able to compare when these numbers are just below 10. But what do we do when the numbers are greater than 10? Let's learn about that. So first thing that we need to notice is to see how many digits these numbers have. Let's see that. So if we have two numbers here, for example, we have 20 and then if we have 9. How many digits does 20 have? It has two digits, right? How many digits does 9 have? It has just one digit, right? So then we know that 20 is greater than 9. That's quite easy, right? But what if both the numbers have the same number of digits? Then it's a little confusing, right? Then we need to go by the value. Now, if we have two digit numbers, both are two digit numbers, then we have to compare by looking at the ones. For example, if we have 72 and if we and we have 74. So here the place value in 10 is the same. We have 7 tenths and we have 7 tenths here. Then we have to go by the ones. We have two ones here and we have four ones here, right? So which number is greater? 74 right so 72 is lesser than 74 very good now let's look at three digit numbers if we have 100 and if we have 70 it's quite easy right because we know there are three digits here and there are only two digits so which is greater 100 is greater very good now what if both the numbers are having three digits Let's look at that. For example, if we have 121 and then we have 131. So here we have to look at the next highest value. That is in, in hundreds, this, has, this number has 100 hundreds and this one also has 100 hundreds. So then we have to go by the next one that is the tens. We have 20 tens and we have 30 tens. So which is greater? The 30 tens, right? So 121 is lesser than 131. Very good. Now if even the tens are the same, what do we do? Let's try that. For example, we have 242 and then we have 245. How do we know? Here there are three digits for both the numbers and then we also have in the hundreds place is the same 2 and 2. What about the tens place? We have 4 and 4. What about the ones place? We have 2 and 5. So then we will be able to know that 5 is greater than 2, right? So 242 is lesser than 245. Very good. Now let's look at the exercise that's given there. In the next page we have count and write the number of objects and then put the correct sign. So we have six cupcakes on one side and then we have three cupcakes on the other side. So which is greater? Six cupcakes, right? Very good. And then we have grapes. We have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7 grapes on one side and then we have just 1. So 1 is smaller than 7, right? So we need to put the appropriate sign, that is a greater sign. So and then we have few Rubik's cube here. 2 Rubik's cube on one side and then we have 3. 2 is lesser than 3. Very good. You need to also write the number 
number of cubes on one side and the number of cubes on the other side just for you to understand it better now we're going to look at ascending and descending order all right i'm going to write few numbers here and you are going to see which order i'm writing them in so we have 7 9 11 15 so this is called ascending order the number which is on the left is lesser than the number which is on the right so this is called ascending order how about descending order the same thing is just the reverse of it so here it is the opposite right the number which is on the left is greater than the number which is on the right that is called descending order now we have an activity which is given there let's try it out color the smallest and the largest number in each row so we have the number 3 that is the smallest right and what's the largest number it's the number 11 very good let's try another one we have 17 29 27 and 30 which one is the smallest 9 very good and which is the greatest it is 30 that's nice now if you turn the page you can see that they have given us few numbers and you are supposed to write down which order first one is ascending order ascending order always remember it's like climbing up the stairs right so it's like a person climbing up the least number to the greatest number so let's try doing that 7 11 3 and 17 what's the order 3 and then comes 7 then comes 11 and then comes 17 that's smallest to the largest let's try another one we have 32 23 42 and 29 here 23 is the smallest then comes 29 and then comes 32 and then comes 42 very good now let's try descending descending is like getting down the stairs okay so remember to write down the highest number first the largest one okay and then go down to the smallest let's try that so we have 12 6 3 and 8 so we need to write the largest first remember that is 12 and then comes 8 then comes 6 and then comes 3 right let's go to the other one we have 13 14 28 and 6 what is the largest here 28 and then 14 and then 13 and then 6 very nice now the last page of this unit we have few interesting activity for you to do at home so you can look around and see in your family or even in your neighborhood look at the age of yours and the age of your friends or your brothers and you should see which number is greater for example if you are six years old and your friend is 10 years old or your brother is 10 years old which one is greater 10 right so in that way you will be able to compare and see about different numbers and you will know who is older who is younger this helps you to find out and then there's another activity you can collect few cups and pile up on one side and then pile few other cups on the other side and now see which side has more cups and then keep changing changing the sides and see which one is greater and which one is lesser that will be fun too there's another tip for you if you want to remember the sign the greater sign and the lesser sign easily always think of a crocodile a crocodile is always hungry right so it always turns to the number whichever is larger suppose there's 10 on one side and there's 2 on one side the crocodile's mouth would be open on to the number 10 right so always remember that that's an easy tip of how you can remember the sign for greater and lesser hope you had fun with numbers just as the chapter name goes see you soon
Bye-bye.